Live, baby. You know what we're doing? We're testing it. Boom. We got new shirts. Woo. New designs just for a certain shootout that's going on. Look at these. It's one o'clock it's one o'clock on a uh, Monday. It's a good Monday. I we can tell you bracket one and bracket two are in the books. Unbelievable. Now you're not gonna see these for probably three weeks. Yeah, roughly. Roughly, maybe longer. But holy moly, oh, is this tough? I need to pull up the, the uh chat box Trap going. Right. We haven't done that. Hold on. We're still getting set up. Bart has a sick kid at home. He we've had pop in at any time. We've had barking dogs. We've had it all. What do all I right. want? Let's go here. Uh, I need to go here. We need to mute has this screen. Well done. We need to go if it pops. Chat. There it goes. We need to pop out. There it is. Drag down. Slide over. Nicely still done. Still setting up. Still setting up. Give us a second. Everybody bear with us. Go back here. I'll minimize that screen. There we are. I like this. Pete, 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 baby. And that's our Android's name is now Pete. Uh, we and talked about brown. it. We really hit it briefly in the shootouts. We got bumper stickers. Well, bumper stickers and stickers. And it all helps fund the show. They'll be coming up. They're not posted yet. <laughs> when Make America Pete It Again posts, which is... I think May 19th is the first That's right. date that we're looking at. Vote early and vote often. Chicago phrase. It finally came to me. I mentioned that, that in one it? of the shows. Yeah. I mentioned that in one of the shows and I messed it up. So we have we literally just got done with bracket two. Woo! Both very interesting, very good. We Tough. have some Tough. we have some good, good whiskeys in there. Yeah. No spoilers. We can't mention it. What do we got? Daniel Brown is in here. Go I Habs. In. Christopher Malloy. Just Claire got Heiko's message on Patreon. He's got the dummies uh, photograph. Just showed up. Food Quigs here. Aqua Vitae. I just finished Roy's Blind Challenge. Woo! That's been sent to him. He sent me, uh, or he arranged for me to get five samples, as we like to say. Right. Uh, I just completed that for him. He's done it with Keith, the Malted Man Cave, uh, Jason Whiskey Wise, Vin nice. over at non No Nonsense Whiskey. Nice. So we'll be getting that uh, posted here sometime within a couple weeks, hopefully. Uh, Howard Walmsley, hello. Heiko, Arash Nadi, Gene nice. Parker, Gregor, Jason Fisk, Pressman, Whiskey Throttle. Hi, Daniel. Yes. Our Make America Pete It Again campaign has the desired purpose to spread whiskey all across America and the world. Notice how I said America. America. Well, all what I want to, okay, so we've had we've had 32 bottles. Right. We're down to 16. We are hashing out the best of the best of the 16 bottles of the 32. And it's been tough. It has. With the caveat. And this is something I think we both learned. Some peated whiskeys are probably best enjoyed in a vacuum, meaning they don't play well with other peats. Mm. There's just some, I think, that don't play as well. And what we're picking out is how they stand out in the crowd. So there's a few caveats in there. But. Uh, Jason Fisk is pointing out nice posters. Yep, those are coming up for Make brand America new. Pete It Again. Yep, brand new. Love the Pete yeah, Andrew. That one over there. Isn't that awesome? Love it. That is by far my favorite mm -hmm. that we've ever had. Yeah. That one's going to stick there for a while. Now, as soon as, so May 9th, I, I believe it's May 19th is the date for Bracket 1 to post. We'll have new shirts uh, posted. The posters you can get through the t-shirt uh, website. Yeah. So, uh, coffee mugs. We got all kinds of stuff phase, going on. There. there we go. What did we come live for, though, today? We just got done shooting two brackets, but we have Rough Rider. Rough Rider, which is how I feel after trying to pick just single peats out of brackets before. Rough. So, this is from the Whiskey Scout. He dropped this off. Now, you... Yeah. What? 
Well, there's a couple of comments coming in about Ardbeg and, and Bart Beg and that stuff. We don't know. We don't know. Well, we're advanced. there's there's some flavor profiles. There was one I think we both called out. This is probably yeah. an art bag. That's what we think, but we could. We're look completely so stupid. Yeah, but we're completely blind. Totally blind. Double blind. Triple blind. We don't know. So we've gone through eight of sixteen bottles. They've both been tough, tough brackets. Any one of them could have been a winner. There was one or or maybe two that to me were a little weaker, a little not near as well established as well the you others. and i agree out on of, some and did not agree on others to me out of the eight 70, <laughs> 75 percent of 80 percent have been phenomenal oh i'd say above so, that i think they've all been phenomenal it's hard you, you just got it you're like okay this one right is better right well or Why? for me better I, for uh, me i don't know I'm right. just, i gotta choose one Right. I can tell you why. You'll you'll see when we get in there why I chose someone. Simeon so. is joining us from Australia. Clear the thirds in. Tom R. Ron Bout. Love that. Wow, we're Good. all over the world, yep. brother. All, all right. Over the world. So Rough Rider, Kentucky Street. I still got pallet or a pallet. Pete on my pallet. Yeah, that's why I'm eating the heck out of these crackers. I brought out my Rito glass. This has not been used in a while because we're doing all the uh, plastic dip. No glasses were broken <laughs> so far, so we do not have blue painter's tape. Scott has gone out and made new plastic dips to cover the show. They're working phenomenally. Hold we got that uh, sticker again. That sticker, the it. size of it, it's, it's a miniature of the poster, and it's awesome. They actually, in the box that showed up with this, they put the box, they put the sticker on the box. It was awesome. So that, I think that's, that's a, easily a, almost a new favorite. Mm -hmm. Yeah, clearly. What um, do, 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 What was I going to say? Somebody pointed out something or said something, and We're now I've completely Bart is a genius. I think it. that's what Claire the Third Forgot said. It. Claire has started playing board games oh. and loves them. I made that up. He it was that. it was the second shootout or the second live video today. We did go live oh, yeah. for about five minutes earlier. Right. We were having a debate. We were having a row. Bart was, yeah, it was Katie, as, yeah, as we debate. say here, Katie Bar Katie the door. Katie Bar the door, baby. It was like an open forum debate on whether or not Ardbeg 10 should be allowed in. Well, kind that of, was kind that of. was on the outskirts. Right. The rest was How, what of the three or four else? bottles yeah, four. should be in. What should be in? We knew we were going to keep the six finalists from the first March Madness Peach shootout. Mm -hmm. We knew we were going to keep the six, although the Ardbeg 10 was floated out as a removal. No, no, no. I, we should have removed. You should have taken no. out the Ardbeg 10. No. That's all I'm saying. No way. It was one of yeah. my fine. It was one of my I winners. know, but <laughs> I'm telling you. It was the Ardbeg 10 should have been out negative against the there's no way. And I bet you a million dollars. I bet you a million dollars that you don't pick it. I'm gonna find it. I think I might have already found it. Yeah. I, I and did you advance like it? I did not. Exactly. I did not. But I'm like, it should you got the dark cove, you got the grooves, you got the Corey Frecken, you got the Oogie doll, the 10 should be out. But I told him if we're going to remove the tin, then you might as well remove half the other bottles because the Ardbeg tin, in my opinion, beats half of everything else in here. Bart is stubborn. <laughs> I gave in. Like I conceded. I, can, oh I know, but I concede more than you do. That is because you were basically cheating and, and doing it behind the scenes. <laughs> It was one of the final but, four. It's got to advance. One of the final sixes. I don't care. It's it's, it, you can't. You can't. I mean, it's like, yeah. okay, there's six shoes here. The we should keep it. this one shoe because. Yes. But if you tried out when it 16 was new, shoes it was and you're like, though, that's one of the four winners, it's out. I don't like it. I like Claire. He says Ardbeg 10 should not have made it. Oh, please. First of all, Ardbeg 10, you can get a phenomenal peated whiskey. That's always available. I'm not, debate. I'm not debating that. Oh, I told you, what if it wins? What if you pick it? It won't. It won't. Well, it some, will not. Somebody picked Maker's Mark in a bourbon deal. They didn't think that was possible. Why did I bet you a million dollars that you would not advance our big 10? Well, first of all, that was hypothetical. Because <laughs> <laughs> if it was a true million, baby, I would have found it and picked it. So We did. We uh, Brackets one and two have been tough. I'll tell you that. 
It does not even talk Whiskey about. Whiskey Jason says you have too much hard bake. Sorry. Hey, I didn't know I was going to pick it. Yeah. I didn't We're, know. We we still have a good bracket. Trust yeah. me. It's going. We went forward. Yeah. They're calling me Bart Peg. No. So we had we had six bottles from March Pete Madness. We had six bottles that from made it into the Pete finals from the Pete Strikes Back. We we took those twelve. We had six bottles left to right right right. No, 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 no. Four, four, four bottles left. The long row came in. Long row thirteen Malbec. Which we, we had call, three bottles. We call the write-in campaign. We have three <laughs> bottles to kind of hash out. Right. Compass box, no name was one of right. them. Right. So we were like, well, do we include a blended? Mm -hmm. Um. What else? The uh, the Port, Port Charlotte, Charlotte Scottish barley. Scottish barley. And one, one of my favorites, but. Didn't fare so we thought, well. In we the thought let's give it a second run. chance. Yeah. We, what was the third bottle though? I mean, I know the Kill Home and Look Gorm is the one we ended up uh, eliminating. What was the third one? Though? <laughs> That's funny, Calpy. I don't even remember what the third one was. I know. Now I'm trying to remember too. Octomore six point. Bam. That's right. The Octomore six point. It was in for sure. We debated over bringing the Kill Home and Look Gorm back in, but it just. It's phenomenal on we, its own. If you go check the the live show we did with Roy, I began exclusively sipping it at the end, and it kept transitioning and improving and changing. But it doesn't hold up as well in a crowd. But what did we do to determine? We went live. We went live. There was 20-some people watching. We asked them. We said, should we have the Port Charlotte Scottish Barley yeah. or Kill Home and Lote Gorman? And they said. And everybody spoke pretty much. The, the for, big quote was, put a port, fork in the Lote Gorman. Lote Gorm is dead. Yeah. It's done. Uh, Port Charlotte. So we went with the Port Charlotte. <laughs> right. And Roy, uh, the Long Road 13 is in uh, Make America Pete It Again. It's a wild card. Wild card. Mm -hmm. It was a write in. So far, uh, I have not sampled it at all. So right before we started, I tried a little sample just so I had some basis. And it was delicious. Well, Simeon is asking, have we tried Pete Monster? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's what that opened was... up the Pete door for me. Yeah. Kicked it in. I tried Pete Monster. I prejudged it. I didn't like the lightness of it. No color added. I thought the advertising compass box was over the top with the little monster. Doesn't matter. Tried it, and I turned into a peat head almost overnight. Started searching out more peat. However, I'm going to tell you where I'm at now, the peat monster's light to me. It's very light on its peat. Still good. So, And I thought I was a Laphroaig cash strength. I still love the Laphroaig line. But it turns out blind and pick an hard bag, hard bag, hard bag. So that's that's amazing to me. Hey, yeah, DH Silv two, shoot us an email at Scotch Test Dummies <laughs> at gmail .com. I know your name. Shoot us an email. We're gonna have, we'll have a care package sent to you for uh, coin and make America Pete it again. Oh, okay, yeah. Okay. And we need your shirt size. Right. Aqua Vitae is saying uh, he's calling it hard hard. Are Bart or Bart Bag's favorite? <laughs> <laughs> awesome, although I don't think it's going to taste much have, like our Bart. I, I think we can say, though, both brackets, we've had like two or three where we're like this one and yeah. this one. They're so good. They're so similar. They're so, it's hard to pick one. We have had some, again, there's no spoilers here at all. We have, interestingly, um been been kind of picking some really good notes out and uh, and that that's been intriguing to me again yeah so i want to say more than that <laughs> amy says she likes our bart i don't know <laughs> the uh the bart bag really rolls well bart bag sounds good um let's move into our uh, rough rider straight bourbon whiskey yeah sorry we should cuz that's what we got yeah I get a lot of rye on the nose, heavy, heavy rye mash bill. On the nose, I get that caramel sweetness. You're right. There's a rye dough. This is hard to pop in after doing all these uh, yeah, I know. peats. Yeah. My boy was... is homesick. We are alive. So if he wanders out and he's watching something on the iPad and he's loving it, 
I can just hear him singing. We've been neglecting him for four hours. No, he's locked in the closet. No, he's got Down syndrome. That sounds mean. <laughs> <laughs> he's loving it. He was playing Star Wars on my uh, on my uh, Nintendo Wii, and and then before we started this, he wanted to go watch his iPad. So, but he's singing a song currently. Uh, Simeon is asking if we've tried the uh, Six Isles blended malt. I don't believe so. Mm -hmm. I, don't, I don't even know what that is. But. I haven't seen it. Uh, okay, so Rough Rider, <laughs> straight bourbon whiskey. Bird Dog says is a sucker for, uh, what is that, allegation? Allegation? I haven't seen that. I'd vote for Bartbeg. <laughs> Bartbeg seems to roll a little better. <laughs> uh, da, 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 da. Okay, you describe all I mm. taste. Boy, I would think this was a rye whiskey. Mm. Honestly, sweet rye notes. Mm. Rye bread, rye dill pickle, yeah. orange zest, light caramels. You're right. If I had this as a blind bottle shootout and a quick hitter, I would think I was tasting a rye. Yeah. It's definitely a high rye mash bill bourbon. Yes. Mm. What's it say? Mm. Double casked, rough rider. Of course, handcrafted small batch. Batch number one. 45% ABV. Then they go into the whole 1898 Teddy Roosevelt and the Rough Riders. Mm. Wow. It's very sweet. Double pot distilled from corn, rye, and malted barley. They're calling the caramel aromas a touch of sweetness. It's very smooth. And I agree with you. Um, there's some small printing that I can't quite make out, but uh, you're right. There's a high rye mash bill in here. Yeah, it's, it's nice though. Mm. Uh, and I don't know. I think this is forty to fifty dollars. Mm. That's good. You're right. I get that dilly, the dill pickleish. Amy points out that Bart bag sounds like barf bag. You probably like it then. <laughs> Bart Beg. Gene Parker says that Bart Beg is the sound of stomach discomfort. <laughs> I just had a Bart Beg. Maybe it won't stick. Uh, let's see. Rombout. Okay. Breaking a rule and having a Rhymageddon. Rhymageddon is very good from Corsair. Very nice. Mm -hmm. Uh, I did a quick hitter with the Corsair uh, triple smoke. Boy, did that confuse me. If you want to see me confused even on what was in my glass, whether it was a bourbon or a scotch, <laughs> which is almost none. It's not a bourbon. It's not a scotch. So no wonder I was confused. Uh, Simeon is pointing out the Six Isles is a blended malt from Ian McLeod made from six distilleries from Isla, Jura, Sky. Bull, Arkney, Orkney, Orkney, and Aaron. Mm. Mm. We're trying. Mm. Um, like here. Yeah, Roy says he should be replying to the comments on today's video. Roy posted one today on uh, what is flora and fauna. Very good uh, video. It was very informative. About 15 minutes long. It's a good 15 minutes. Go give it a watch. Wow. Yeah. Cool. So with no spoilers, we are definitely at the pinnacle of our Pete madness, I would say, if you just mm -hmm. want to go over top. It's so everything we're trying, knowing that all four of them in there are phenomenal. It has been so tough to pick a winner. Uh, bourbon shenanigans. Mike is asking what we are tasting. This is the Rough Rider straight bourbon whiskey. Mm. Very heavy, very rye heavy mash bill. Caramel laid throughout that rye, which is a unique blending. Wait, it says double cast. Yeah. 
You can read the particulars. What was it? I wasn't paying attention. I it's guess. just, I can't double cast what? Yeah, I don't know. Read a little bit more in there. <laughs> I'll <laughs> oh, let you read all over. It was, I told you I couldn't quite read it <laughs> with the lights in our face. I couldn't quite make out some of the marketing on the bottom there. Ooh. Yeah. What do you got? Subtle brandy notes via our unique two barrel reserve aging method. Our award-winning straight bourbon whiskey gains its refined, unique character during this regime. regime. We hope you enjoy this as much as we enjoyed making it. We're in the middle of a peat regime. It's double pot still, distilled from corn, rye, and malted barley. Sure. Imparts caramel aromas and touch of sweetness, aged a minimum of two, two years, years. Right. in a new American oak. Right. Adds smoothness, refineness, and subtle fruit notes. From a French oak Chardonnay cask rinsed with high proof brandy, timing is secret. I mean, it's secret. Huh. I, don't, I don't like the secret. Do you I like the whiskey? I don't know if you like the secret. Do you like the whiskey? I like the whiskey, which is why I don't like the secret. Who cares about the secret? Do you Tell like the whiskey? What you did. Do you like the whiskey? I told you I like the whiskey. I don't like the secret. <laughs> <laughs> Heiko was looking online today for a high strength bourbon. What would you guys pick? Jack Daniels single barrel or Elijah Craig barrel proof? Elijah, Elijah Craig, Craig barrel, barrel proof. proof. Yeah, get that. That's the second. Bottle. Wow. Uh, second is Jack Daniels single barrel barrel proof. Yeah. As long as you get the double, we call it the double barrel. The double barrel. I mean, that's good too. Um, and probably, well, out here, they're about the same price. I don't know what they are where you're at. They're both good. Elijah Craig Barrel Proof, unbelievably good. Well, uh, Whiskey Throttle is asking where's the whiskey from in the Rough Rider. It is sourced, probably. It doesn't say. Really? I don't know. MGP. I don't it's know. It's from uh, Wichita, Kansas. Yeah. Right here. I would the, bet you. Right here in Bart's from, basement. Yeah. I bet you it comes somewhere from Indiana. That's all you'd need to know. No, it doesn't say. We don't know, but it's good. <laughs> hmm. Claire does point out Stag Jr. also is a very good barrel proof. Mm -hmm. Yeah, bourbon. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right, Bart. Well, should we wrap it up or we got more to talk about? Uh, we haven't done the thing yet that we usually what? do where we come in and try to, I don't know if we can match that up. <laughs> that's goofy. Uh, I think that's it. There's probably not much else to be said. I mean, we're, we're in the midst of the Pete, the final Pete shootout. Um, you guys won't see it for probably three weeks. We got some other stuff planned. What? I'm not reading it. No, put your hand in there. I'm putting my hand in there. Again? Why? Don't break my reedle. There. <laughs> Hmm. It's good. I actually like it. Yeah. I was expecting something much harsher, rougher, younger. Very smooth. A lot of rye, though. Um, gonna, um, more, just, a lot of caramel. Yeah. Vanilla, rye, you know, the orange zest, rye. If, if I could notes. call it, I would say that the whiskey was sourced from MGP. Do they say they sourced it? Uh, if, if it's sourced, it's MGP, and MGP puts out one heck of a product i mean especially the rye good 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 that does not say doesn't say but they don't say they've distilled it either do they it just says uh, handcrafted and bottled by long island spirits i don't i don't have a problem baiting with hollow new york got it and maybe they didn't source it but if they did i mean i like full disclosure but it's delicious so do you know how much it was? I know this came from Whiskey Scout. Um, it just says Whiskey Scout on there. I think this is a uh, fifty or just under forty to fifty dollar range. It's not bad. I like it. It's beyond not bad. It's good. But I yeah. love rye, and I love high rye mash bill bourbons. So this is delicious. Scotch it. Should we? We shall. Anything else? Anybody got any questions? Yeah. Comments? Concerns? Shoot us some questions, and then we'll get out of here. Anybody got anything on the? Uh, I like George. He's saying a very sherry Christmas. 
Okay. That would be a good one. That's a ways down the road. That is. You want to I wait like that, that long. though. That's a good phrase. I like the end. Yeah. Uh, we could call it a Merry Sherry Christmas. I don't know. Is that too much? A what? A Merry Sherry Christmas. A very Merry Sherry Christmas. Okay. Very Merry Sherry Christmas. <laughs> A fairly very merry Roy sherry asked Christmas. us a question, Danny. Oh, there we go. I know it's not planned yet, but could the sherry shootout happen this year? Definitely. Yeah. 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 I'm looking forward to it. I I feel that's going to be a weak area for me, but they're so juicy. We have okay, so we're finishing up Make America Pete it again. Right. In May, we will be doing a fundraiser. Yep, we're gonna do a tasting live. on a Sunday for right. the food bank yep. uh, with all, uh, Edmonton the, Scotch Club, and uh, all the super chats will go toward our local food bank. Drams for fams. Mm -hmm. So you get that's in May, June, July. Ooh, July seventh will be uh, the twelve hour second uh, annual yep. twelve hours, hours of boom, of boom baby. Twelve hours of boom. Then we've got we, maybe we take a little time off and just take a little vacation. We need to get some. What we would do though is record some videos, yeah, make sure we have. We always pre-record yeah, anyway. Yeah. Make sure and then just take Post a break them, and then take a little ease. Just actually leave social media my everything wife behind. Wants to travel to my sister that lives in Florida, lives in the Tampa area. She wants to take a family vacation. Your wife does. You don't. I like stay vacations. <laughs> That's funny. Your wife wants to go see your mm -hmm. sis, your sister, but you don't. I don't mind. My sister's coming here late July. She always comes here to see my mom and I. Uh, she has, let me just say her husband's a pilot. She flies for like $20. So she flies all the time. Mm -hmm. That's all I'm saying. It's nice. Yeah. I'm not a, nothing against Florida folks, but I don't think Florida's all that much. It's just not. I don't like mm. it. It's sandy, bugs all over the place. In order to go in the backyard, you got to net it in. Otherwise, you get attacked by the by the bugs that are never killed off by a freeze. Hmm. I'm not. I've been in Florida when I was young and working on a cruise ship. I'm not a big Florida guy. That's all I'm saying. I'm not a big outdoorsman though. Uh, Whiskey Jason is asking about twelve hours of boom. So last year uh, in July, I think it was July eighth of last year, we did twelve hours of boom. It was twelve hours of live streaming. Mm -hmm. We did uh, forty five minute segments, basically with a fifteen minute break in between. We had different guests, mm -hmm. did giveaways, stuff like that. So uh, this will be right. the second annual twelve hours of boom will happen in Jul mm -hmm. on July seventh of this year. And it's kind of almost like a fundraiser for us because a lot of people came on as Patreon supporters. Uh, I think we had a few super chats while we were doing the show. Um, a lot of new subscribers. So that's kind of what we're, we're turning and burning 12 hours straight. We're going to end again at the fire pit and it's a big push for us to get subscribers on and Patreon folks come on. Mm -hmm. And, uh, and quite honestly, it helped catapult us in 2017 yeah. into, um, being able that we were like, you know what, we'll be able to keep doing the show as long as we keep picking up Patreon support and subscribers like this. So, uh, and it's fun. Yeah, Cousin definitely. Shane will be here. Shakes Pennington, our acoustic guitarist, is going to be here. Whiskey Scout, if he can make it. We're even going to try to have somebody, um, maybe Cousin Shane or Whiskey Scout, monitoring the chat so that Scott and I can focus more on on the guest and 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 the viewers uh, because we're not able to watch all the comments so if we have a designated person watching the comments we thought that would be good uh bourbon shenanigans mike is asking when will the stickers be online probably may 19th maybe we get them up early but i doubt it may 19th i think is the first date yeah. that the uh it might be cool to put them make up america up. pete it again to get started we'll see the way this says pete <laughs> it's awesome. It's going to tell everybody out there you well, know who your friends are. You see that on the back of a car, you'll be honking at them. Hey, hey, Pete Head. <laughs> well, I like we'll, the Pete. We'll too. be talking about it and get a post. They'll probably be $3 a piece just so we make a little bit of money on them because sure. you got to fund the show. 
Right. If, if, I mean, if you got four cars, you need you need like six <laughs> of them just so you can put them on the cars on the front and the back. Give one to the kids, you know, yeah, put yeah. on their notebook. Yeah, they, go to they, school. Their kids are going there. What's this, mom? That's just Pete, man. Make America Pete again. Sure, you want to throw them on there as well. Roy points out that taking a break after the 12 hours of boom is a good idea, but not a long one. Huh? Yeah, right. We'll see. Well, we'll, we'll have see. some pre. We've been, we're coming up on five years right. of going pretty solid. Very so. I don't think we've taken so, a single break. Have we even dipped? Oh, there's dips. But as far not one not on our output, but right. on uh, Google Analytics, there's dips. Oh, yeah, yeah. But for you and I, have been constantly um, about a Saturday Wednesday show, and then we worked in the lives. Now we've got the impromptus. Roy Doing point quick hitters. Yeah, Roy points out that Ron Bout wants to know when is Scotland on the agenda. Hopefully soon. God, I mean, we yes. like to make that. We would. Our unfortunately, our full time jobs demanding are demanding. They are. And In a few years. Well, quite honestly, the way the show is ramping, we may be able to retire from the day job a little bit sooner than both of us maybe thought. If it keeps going like it is, which is one reason we have the merch, which is one reason we have Patreon. And we'll talk more about that in the 12 hours of boom. We love yeah. doing the show, but if we were, we've talked about doing five shows a week, you know, doing a Monday through Friday and really bringing the shows and traveling a whole lot more. Yeah. Um, we both got families. We both got full-time jobs that are quite demanding. Um, Travel has actually been a little, a little difficult, but we're working toward it. Whiskey Throttle is pointing out he will come down and house sit while we're on vacation. I bet he would, but his whisk Daniel's collection is really it's better than oh, ours. Oh shit, yeah. See how I threw that out there? Wow, yeah, that's how good it is. Wow. Wow. Maybe his collection is so good we'd come back and there'd be the surprises on the bar. Yeah. You'd be like, oh what? I do like Greg Gore though. He says 12 hours of boom, get some adult diapers, and there's no need for 15 minute breaks. That could be true. Yeah. Part of it's bathroom. We got a quig now and then. The other part of it is we what we had guests lined up at every yeah. every break. We, we still gotta hash some of that some of that out, put right. pen to paper. Right. We've talked to a distillery. I, I did notice last year with the first one about this about the eight hour mark, we kind of both started to wane. My voice got and then ready. and then coffee kicked in. We got coffee, whiskey, scout show, whiskey, up pizza, and then it picked back up. We picked back up. the uh, The boys were here, meeting cousin Shane and uh, Shakes Pennington, and they they jumped in and sang. All right, I think it's time now. Make America, America compete it again. Of course, what are we on here again? Rough Rider. All right, probably mm -hmm. sourced. We don't know, but it sure tastes MGP to me. That's right. It's good. Um, it's good. Scotch it, you Scotch gods. Thanks to everybody that tuned in. We appreciate it. Go to scotchtestdummies.com and uh, buy some merchandise. Help support us. Go to patreon.com and help support us monthly. Patreon's huge. Is that Thank fast you. enough? That was very fast, very professional, and uh, not overly done. Later, dummies. Yeah. Shh. Whiskey.